Hi, Adriana. I heard you were going to get married. Huh? Oh, long time no see, Evelyn. When's the wedding going to be? We're planning on having a next spring. From who did you hear I was getting married? My mom was talking to your mom on the phone today. That's when I heard. Oh, is that so? I guess my mom did say that she was still in contact with your mom even after we moved into the neighboring city. I heard that you were going to marry the CEO of a large company? Oh, yeah. Of course you're going to invite me to the wedding, right? Uh... I wish you would understand how much I want to celebrate the wedding of an old friend. You'll invite me, right? Well, if you insist that much, okay, I'll invite you. Should I send the invitation to your parents' house? Yep, that's fine. Still, though, it seems like everyone around me is getting married recently. There are other people getting married as well? Yes. Just this day before I heard about your wedding, I got a text from a friend from university that she was going to get married. She says her husband is a soon-to-be CEO of a company. I'm so jealous of you two. Both of you have struck fortunes. <laughs> it's not like I'm marrying him for the money or anything, though. But still, it makes me so jealous. Oh, sorry. Can we end the conversation here? I'm currently on the way to the convenience store. Alright, well then, I'll be waiting for that invitation to your wedding! <laughs> Hi, Adriana! I got the invitation to your wedding. Oh, okay. Reply as to whether you'll come or not by the date written on the invitation. Alright, but still, I'm getting so many wedding invitations, it's a mess. Oh, you said that everyone around you was getting married, right? Yep. In fact, there's another wedding ceremony I need to go to the day after yours. Oh, really? That means you're going to have to go to wedding ceremonies back to back. Will you be able to manage it? Both are in the capital, so it's fine. More importantly, though, I keep looking at the specs of everyone's husbands. Who's marrying into a fortune and who's marrying a regular office worker. <laughs> you know, I remember it for everyone. That's an interesting way of remembering things. Do you think so? Well, just reply to the invitation, all right? Got it. <coughs> Hi, Adriana. Are you getting along with your fiancé? What? Uh, yeah, there aren't really any problems between us. Oh, is that so? What is it? There wasn't any hidden meaning. I was just jealous that you're marrying a rich man. Can I be honest with you? Huh? It's true that I'm going to be marrying the CEO of a large company, but it's not like I married him for the money. There you go again, lol. There was no way for me to know that the person I've been going out with since I was 15 would start his own company in the future, right? Uh, you were going out with him since you were 15? That's the third year of middle school, right? He's not someone from the same grade, right? Because I didn't know him. He's the same age, but he went to a different school than us. I met him at the cram school I was going to to prepare for high school entrance examinations. We took the exams for the same school and we both passed, and we've been going out ever since the first day of high school. Hmm, so that's how you two met. But at the end of the day, you're still marrying a rich man, right? I run the company alongside him. What? Okay, we're finished talking about this topic. There's something else I need to take care of, so bye. Hi, Adriana. What do you think I am right now? Um, are you already sleeping or something? Alright, I'll tell you the answer. I'm currently in a hotel with your fiancé. I was only your friend back in middle school because you would do whatever I told you to do, and that meant using you to my advantage was really easy. Put simply, you were my personal servant. And yet, you suddenly got engaged to a rich man. And he's handsome as well. That's why I stole him from you. Well, that's all I wanted to tell you. Oh, and I'm not coming to the wedding ceremony tomorrow. I mean, I stole your fiancé, so it's going to be cancelled anyways, I suppose. Bye then. What is the meaning of this? What do you mean you stole my fiancé? 
This isn't funny, Evelyn. Besides, I was with my fiancé when you sent me these texts, so I know that they're not true. I myself am a witness that can prove that he didn't cheat on me. But still, I don't know what your intentions are, but it seems you don't want to celebrate my wedding. I understand you're not coming to my wedding anymore. Bye then. Adriana! Hey, what's the meaning of this? Only, my seat isn't at the wedding reception. Explain this to me now! Huh? Evelyn? I apologize for being late to the wedding and not being able to make it to the ceremony at the chapel, and not telling you about it, but there was some emergency that I had to take care of during the morning, and I was only able to make it to the wedding now, and yet, when I tried to enter, my seat was gone. This is so cruel! I thought we were old friends that could talk about anything with each other. Uh, didn't you say that you weren't coming? What? Didn't you tell me last night that you wouldn't come? Why are you even here? Uh, hold on. When I said I wouldn't be coming to the wedding, I meant tomorrow's wedding. Didn't you send me a bunch of texts last night about how you stole my fiancé and how you wouldn't come to the wedding? What? I'm busy with preparations for the wedding reception. Bye. Adriana, there's a misunderstanding. Those texts were meant for a different person. I accidentally bombed you with texts instead of them. Those weren't meant for you. Um, I told you before that there was another wedding ceremony that I would be going to the day after yours, right? The groom I stole was the groom of that wedding, not yours. I said I wouldn't come to that wedding. I still want to come to yours. Um, you see, the bride and groom of tomorrow's wedding are acquaintances from university. She was always so rude to me, even though she was so poor. And she's trying to just sneakily marry a rich man, which is why I thought I needed to teach her a lesson and... I'm happy about your marriage from the bottom of my heart, Adriana. These people have nothing to do with you. I have nothing against you, so let me come to the wedding reception. Adriana, please, reply to my texts. Adriana, help me. What do you want? You see, I'm being asked to pay alimony. Not only that, but the bride is making me pay for the cancellation fees of the wedding and also the cancellation fees for the honeymoon. Her name is Beth, right? The bride whose groom you stole and was forced to cancel the marriage ceremony and their honeymoon they had planned. She also canceled the marriage ultimately, right? Uh... You've always had a habit of insulting people like that from time to time. I always noticed it, but it was usually tolerable, so... But to think that you would become the kind of woman who would steal someone else's fiancé... Um, did I tell you that her name was Beth? I heard about it from your mom. It seems that when the bride was reproaching you for stealing her groom, you brought up the fact that you sent me messages that were actually meant for her, right? She said that she wanted me to send her screenshots of the text you sent me, since it could be used as proof of what you and her groom had done. She also told me the details of what had happened. You sent her the screenshots? I mean, can you blame me? You bothered us with what you did as well. What? What did I do to you guys? Rather, you're the ones who made me really sad by getting rid of my seat at the reception. But weren't you trying to come to my wedding after you just ruined the marriage of one of your friends? Uh, but that has nothing to do with you. It seems Beth had already noticed that you two were cheating beforehand. Apparently, she was waiting with her relatives outside the hotel you two were at that night. The groom was immediately caught, but you took advantage of everyone's attention being focused elsewhere to make a run for it, which is why you arrived at my wedding late, which you had intended to come to immediately before getting caught. That's what happened on the day of my wedding, right? You know that much? Not only that, but I heard you were planning on getting lost in the crowd at my wedding reception and used that time to plan out how you were going to make an escape. You know even that? 
Those messages you sent me by accident? Now that I think about it, I was lucky to have received those messages. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have let you come to my wedding without knowing about anything you'd done. But the incident involving Bath and your wedding are completely unrelated. I was planning on attending your wedding ceremony and celebrating just like everyone else. I don't want someone who steals another person's fiancé celebrating my marriage. Ugh. You disgust me from the bottom of my heart. But, Adriana, I'm all alone. Everyone's left me. I was also unlucky enough for one of my colleagues at work to be an acquaintance of Beth, which means that everyone at our company found out that I stole Beth's fiancé. I couldn't stand how everyone looked at me, so I quit, which means that I have no choice but to rely on you for help from now on. Will you really not understand unless I tell you in clearer terms? What? I don't want to be friends with someone so inhuman that they would steal someone else's fiancé. But we've known each other forever. Don't think that just because we were old friends doesn't mean that we're unconditionally friends forever. Don't contact me ever again. Bye. Adriana? <coughs> I heard this from Evelyn's mom at a later date. First of all, the groom that had cheated on his bride with Evelyn lost his position as the next CEO after this incident. His parents cut ties with him, and after paying what he needed to pay, quit the ceremony as well. He broke up with Evelyn as well and left his hometown as if he intended on starting completely anew. Evelyn, on the other hand, apparently not only did she think that there wouldn't be an alimony since the couple weren't married yet, but she also never even thought about having to pay for the wedding ceremony and the honeymoon's cancellation fees. I heard that when she saw that she had to pay tens of thousands of dollars, she fell to her knees and started shuddering in fear. Her parents didn't help her in any way, and in fact cut ties with her after the incident. Evelyn, all alone, now works mainly at a brothel, and is forced to take on shifts every day to support herself. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time!